Right, you guys, today we're going to be creating an encrypted password protected storage on Windows. Now, if you wanted to create a protected container on Windows, then this video is for you. You can see we have some files here that I want to keep protected. So we're going to use Veracrypt to do this for us. It's a free piece of software you can download and install, and it's going to allow you to create a sizable uh, storage container where you can store all of your precious data. This will be encrypted and passworded, and you can even hide it if you wish. But before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out CD Key Sales from the link in the video description. All you need to do is click on the buy now, create an account with CD Key Sales, and then you can use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, inside the promo a code box and then apply this to your order and you'll get a juicy discount as you can see here sixteen dollars and forty one cents in for american and if you're in the uk you'll get this for around about 12 pounds 42 so once you've done that submit your order and uh, i always use um paypal it's a safer option for me and i click paypal and once i've done that i'll get my key sent to me in my account and then you can head over to the activation center and paste in your key and activate your version of Windows. Links are in the video description. So let's go ahead and get this installed on the PC. Make sure it's from a verified publisher and you've gone to the right Veracrypt website. I'll leave the link in the video description. Get this installed on the system. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Just follow the screen and uh, read the terms and conditions here. If you're one of these people that like to read that, you can go ahead and read that. Click next. And now we've got two options to install it or extract. So I'm going to install this one here. Now the extract option is obviously not going to uh, install any files onto the PC, but we're using the install for this one. Choose the location where you want to install it. The default location is perfectly fine. So I'm going to leave that as is. Now down here, you'll see install for all users. If it's just for yourself, then just take the check mark out of install for all users and everything else is okay. So let's go ahead and click next and we can go ahead and install this onto our system. And as you can see here, this has been successfully installed onto the system. This does work on Windows 11 and Windows 10. You can make a donation here if you enjoy using the software. Next, it says, if you've never used uh, Veracrypt before, you can use the tutorial. I'm gonna skip this because I've used it before. And then what we can do here is now open up the actual software. So this is the actual software. You've got mount, auto mount, and dismount and exit. And then you've got your volume tools and we've also got, which is what we're going to be using here, which is to create a volume. We're going to create a volume of space to put all of our data into. So let's go ahead and click on the create a volume. And uh, what this will do is it allow us to choose. Now you're going to have three options, create an encrypted file container, which is what we're going to be doing in this video. But there is two other options which are out of the scope of this video. If you want to see these, another video let me know in the comments section click next now we can create a standard veracrypt volume or you can do a hidden veracrypt volume we're going to be doing the standard veracrypt volume here but if you want to see the other one then let me know in the comments section next up you need to uh, put a location for your volume now i'd suggest you put this in a different location to where i'm putting it because i'm putting it on the desktop so you want to put this into a location where it'll be more difficult to find also you want to give it a, a different name compared to hidden uh, so i'd give this a more of a different name so only you know what it is and then you can go ahead and click next so we've called ours hidden next up you need to choose the encryption algorithm there is plenty to choose from do your research and choose which one you want uh, two fish or serpent are pretty good options they're a the really secure type of encryption you can read about them by clicking on the link here and the AI algorithm, we're gonna leave that as is and click next. Now you need to choose the size of volume that you wanna create. So depending on the size of drive you've got and the space you have available will determine how much you're gonna use and also how much data you're gonna store. I'm gonna give it seven gigabytes. Next, we need to give it a volume password. This needs to be very secure to make sure you do a very secure password. It will give you the information down below in this text here. Now you can also use K 
key files as well. If you've got a certain image that you want to use, you can use that key file image. You will need to use both the key file and the password. This is just another layer of security. But just make sure you don't lose that file because you won't be able to open your container and you will lose all your data. So once you've done that, we can click OK here and we now have a strong password and also we have a key file. Next, it's going to say your password is too short. I'm going to say yes, that's OK. And you can now do either yes for larger files, larger than four gigabytes. And that's what I'm going to do here. Next, you can move your cursor around inside the Veracrypt volume creation wizard. And you can see the random pool that is creating. And this is going to be a secure uh, key that it's creating for you. Once you're happy, you can click on format and this will get it ready for you. You can choose your file system and the cluster and all that sort of stuff as well. But we're just leaving it as default as XFAT here. And we're just going to let this create. It does take a bit of time to prepare. We have got a six gigabyte volume that we've created here. We can then keep all of our data inside this volume and it will be secure. It will be encrypted and it will have a secure password with also a key file that you would need to use to unlock it. No one is going to be able to get into this container. Even if they try to brute force their way through, they would not be able to get into it. So make sure you keep your password and your key files safe. Otherwise, you will not gain access to it. Click OK. That has now been created. You can see volume created and you can exit out here unless you want to create another one. So we're going to give this a free drive letter that we have. And I use uh, Z and this is because normally this is never used. And what we can do now is select a file. So we need to go and select our volume that we created, which is called hidden. Obviously, yours will be in a more uh, discreet location with a more discreet name. Once you've got this done, we can now mount our volume and it's going to ask us for our password. So let's go ahead and give this a password that we created earlier. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to have to also use our key file. Now, if you don't use your key file, you will not be able to gain access. So what we're going to do is click add files and go to our key file. Now, obviously, you're not going to keep it on your desktop. This will be in a, a discrete location where people would never guess. And once you've done this, it's now mounted our volume and it's opened it up for us. And if we go to this PC, you can now see your volume has been mounted and it's open. This means we can gain access to it and put in our content in here. So if you had sensitive information in here, no one's going to gain access to it. So let's go ahead and get some documents here. I'm just going to get these other documents that we have here on our PC. So I'm going to copy all of these into this um, container. Now, once they've copied across and we unmount it, the only way to gain access to this container would be to mount it again and using the uh, secure password and also the key file to decrypt it so you can get access to it. Now you can also build a invisible or hidden container where no one would know where it is and they would still not be able to gain access to it without a password or key file and it will be encrypted. So just remember that you need all those secure features available to you. Otherwise, you will not be able to gain access to this container ever again unless you have those uh, password and key files. So we've now got this copied across and we can now uh, dismount this drive. So obviously you would not be leaving these on the PC because they then wouldn't be secret. These will be sensitive files that you don't want anyone to have access to apart from yourself. So all we need to do now once we've done this is dismount the drive. So let me go ahead and uh, dismount this drive. So I just want to quickly show you here. You can see the drive is available here. I can still gain access to it because it's mounted and we've got our uh, password and security information in there. So let me dismount it and it will now disappear. Now, the drive is still visible on my desktop because we didn't use the hidden feature, but you can build this with a hidden feature so you wouldn't even see it. So depending on what you need and what your requirements are, I would obviously put this in a different location where people wouldn't be able to determine what it is. Again, you could put this in your Windows directory. You could put it somewhere with a different name and no one would ever know it's there. Now, again, to reverse the cycle, if you want to gain access to it, you will need to select your volume. So let's go and select the hidden volume, which I've called hidden for this video. And we can now go ahead and click mount. So put in your password and I'm going to type this out and we can then 
uh, gain access. Now, if you try to gain access without your key file, you'll see what will happen. It won't let you gain access. So just let it try and find the information that it needs. And eventually it will fail. And that's because we haven't given it the key file as well, which is a image. This can be any sort of image. And there you go, incorrect password. It will not allow you to gain access. So let's go ahead and click OK here and give it the password again. And then we will give it the key folder it needs to gain access to the container. So let's go ahead and quickly find this key file. And again, because people store so many files on their computer, it will be impossible for someone to even know what that key file would be. And there we go, it's now mounted and you can gain access to that drive by going to this PC. It's that simple. And you can drop in what files you want, delete what files you want. And again, that is it. That's how simple that is. And to dismount, you just obviously click the dismount button and it will dismount it. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. This is a very secure way of storing data in a container that has been encrypted and it has a password and a key file. You don't need to uh, encrypt the whole drive. You're just going to encrypt a certain portion of it to put all your data into. Anyway, with that said, I think that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and a special shout out goes to Vitali, MS Mux Oxen, RTX Brody, Phil's Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Big Daddy, also Gary Belts, PC Repair Tech, Mike Bigness, Albert Hewson, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam and Welsh Tony One. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.